Guys, today we're going to install the Costco Rise. This is a backless booster. Um, and I will have a review video on it. It's not going to be very long. However, we are going to install it. Now, it comes looking like this. This specific color pattern is not available anymore. There's a different black one, but it is exactly the same seat as this. So, looks like this. This is how it sits on the seat. There's this little box underneath. If you're not using this, it goes in here. Okay, because it is attached. You're not going to take it off. And you would just put it on the seat like this. Okay, you would take your seat belt across your child. Your child will be sitting here. This lap belt goes under the armrest. This one goes over. And on this side, they both go under. And then there you go. You can pull it up like this to pull it like to kind of give your child some pressure on them. But you cannot lock the seat belt when it, a child is in it. When you are, the seat is not in use, since there is no latches, you're going to want to lock the seat, or not lock the seat, you're going to want to have your child buckle it, okay? So you're not going to lock the seatbelt ever, but when your child gets out of the seat, it needs to look like this. Because if it doesn't look like this, and it is just sitting on the seat like this, if there were to be a crash, this could now be a projectile, and it could hit someone, because it's not tied down. Now, if your child is sitting in this seat, and the seatbelt is on them and it is not hitting them here like right across their hips and tops of their thighs and the shoulder belt lying flat on their shoulder then you can employ the use of the belt positioner so this is the belt positioner it's attached i love that it's attached you can't lose it you can't misplace it and it will go, it goes in the middle. So it goes on either side, wherever the shoulder belt is. When you pull the shoulder belt over, okay, you're going to buckle your child in, okay? Make sure that the lap belt is across the bottoms of their hips, top, very tops of their thighs. That's where you want it sitting. And then you're going to adjust this to their shoulder height, okay? And once it's adjusted to their shoulder height, you're going to put your seat belt in it. And then it's going to pull this down so it's this is very hard to tell without a child in it but say there's a child in it this is pulling the shoulder belt down so that it sits on their shoulder right here and comes across the middle of their chest you want the seat belt sitting on their shoulder you don't want it like up here by their ear okay so your child's 40 plus pounds they're mature enough to sit right in a booster then you would use this and it, it goes behind their back so the kid is against this on the seat and it's just holding the seat belt down against their shoulder because they're not big enough for it to be without it, with the booster. Okay, so if you, this wasn't in use, it would be underneath the seat. And this would be against their shoulder here where the seatbelt comes up. This is probably going to change car to car. Some cars have adjusters right here in the middle row. This car obviously doesn't. So if your car has that and you can adjust your seatbelt down to sit on their shoulder, then you don't need to use it. If you can't, then you're going to need to use that to get it to sit on their shoulder. Okay. And I'll talk about this more in my video, but there are, um, what is it called? Uh, what you cannot use the seat with, and I don't think it says on here. So that will be in my review video, but it is, uh, oh, right here. It says right here, 43 inches is the minimum, 57 inches is the maximum, and 4,200 pounds. Um, it says four. Most, if not all, boosters on the market say four. I'm going to say closer to six. Okay, you need, you know your child. Are they mature enough to sit right the whole ride? Okay, are they mature enough to fall asleep? Okay, this is this is not a booster that comes with a back. Okay, so there's nothing. You need a headrest in the seat, and there's nothing on their sides to keep them from sitting, not sitting up when they fall asleep. So, know your child, know their maturity, and that is how you use the Costco Rise.